When Genesis introduced their new compact luxury SUV last year, the GV70, it was a huge hit. And today I'm at the 2022 LA Auto Show and Genesis is ready to show us the all new electrified version. So let's take a first look. So as most of you guys know, like every other manufacturer, Genesis is looking to completely electrify all of their vehicles within the next decade. So the electrified version of the GV70 is all electric. And because it's an electric vehicle, I wanna show you guys what's underneath the hood because the million dollar question is, does it have a frunk? And you can see here, it's got this really nice plastic covering over the, what was the engine compartment. But if you open this up, you can see just like on the smaller GV60, it also has a little small cubby area here, probably less than one cubic feet of space. It's nice that it's here, but remember this vehicle is built off of a internal combustion platform so the fact that genesis was able to package a frunk in here is pretty impressive but since we're underneath here let's go ahead and talk about the powertrain specs because this vehicle comes standard with essentially the same powertrain that's in the smaller gv60 so you have twin electric motors you have a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery pack and this takes the specs from the performance version of the gv60 so we have 429 horsepower and 583 uh, pound or 516 pound feet of torque. If you guys push the boost button, it actually will increase that output for 10 seconds to 483 horsepower. So that's very impressive performance. Genesis says you should be able to get to 60 in under four and a half seconds. And I imagine it's going to be even quicker than that out in the real world. Now with that 77.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, Genesis is gonna estimate around 250 miles on a full charge. We don't have the final EPA figures yet, but this does run on the 800 volt architecture, which means this can charge from 10 to 80% in roughly 18 minutes. And the one thing I like about this car, just like the GB, uh, G80 Electrified, is the charge port door is so cleverly hidden right here in the front grill. You can see it almost isn't even visible because of how they integrated this, but you can see it comes standard with the uh, DC fast charging and it also comes with the J1772 plug. Uh, the onboard charger, I believe, is rated to charge this vehicle up to uh, 7.2 kilowatts, which means you can roughly charge this vehicle overnight on a level two in roughly 10 hours. But let's go ahead and close up the hood and talk about the exterior styling because when this car came out last year, it was a huge hit. Genesis is kind of killing it. Every luxury manufacturer is watching this brand. And you can see from the design, very Bentley-esque design language. The only difference here between the gas model and the electrified is the grill. It's been closed off. It has this, the company's signature Crest grill with the, tool, the dual lay, uh, light blades for the full LED headlights. It has the four kind of LED uh, components for the LED low and high beams. Uh, down here, you can see it's been a little bit more smooth out. You have some fake grill openings here. There are some functional ones as well. You can see kind of have like a diamond uh, look texture in the actual grill. But overall, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think it's definitely a much better looking vehicle versus some of the competitors. But looking around the side profile, you can see this is a compact SUV. Its overall length is around 185 inches long. It rides on the same 111 inch long wheelbase. And the only difference here from the side from the gas model are the wheels. You can see Genesis will offer a choice between a 19 or a 20 inch wheel. You can see these are the 20 inch five spoke wheels with kind of like an aerodynamic design or directional design. Uh, they are wrapped in these Michelin tires and they do look good on this vehicle, although you can't get those bigger 21 inch wheels that you find on some of the gas powered versions of this car. Now you can see panoramic sunroof is also included and the rest of the profile looks really nice. I mean, in this kind of subdued silver color, uh, it is looking a little bit more conservative restraint, but I think it's gonna do well with a typical buyer. Now looking at the rear, you can see no indication that this is the electric model. It doesn't even say electrified on here it just says genesis gv70 the only thing you're going to tell notice there's no visible exhaust tips because remember this is a fully electric vehicle so it doesn't require something like that and opening up the cargo area uh, you can see the space in here is actually unaffected it looks like i don't have the actual final figures just yet but you can see this is remaining a two-row vehicle the gas powered model has around uh, 27 cubic feet of space which expands to like just over 50 cubic feet of space it should be similar for this vehicle uh, and then surprisingly there's also a pretty big underfloor storage that's where they hide the 12 volt battery uh, but overall you can see very practical car and you won't even be able to tell that this is the electric model so the interior of the GV70 Electrified is exactly the same as the gas model, just like on the exterior, 
you wouldn't be able to tell once you get inside. Now, obviously this interior is probably one of my favorite color combinations. It's kind of like a navy blue on the top. It's got this beautiful white cream leather and the material quality in here, the craftsmanship, would put a lot of European and Japanese luxury brands to shame. And that's kind of where Genesis is again killing it uh, because this interior is among the best in the industry. You have real leather stitching along the dash, along the door panel, along the lower part of the dash. You have these interesting textures and shapes along with these authentic materials. You can see there's real aluminum trim. There's these glass controls. The steering wheel you can see is the nicer three spoke design. It's got a power tilt and telescoping wheel. And then you have a uh, beautiful looking LCD screens. You have a 14 and a half inch touchscreen here in the center, uh, which has their latest infotainment system. And then you also have a 12.3 inch fully digital cluster here, which has 3D graphics. The one thing that I want to knock Genesis and Hyundai and Kia is the fact that they still don't do wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's all connected via a wired connection uh, with the EV model. Um, there is like another EV screen here, which I can't access because the car is not on. You have really nice touches in here, like a fingerprint scanner uh, where you can get in and just use your fingerprint. You don't have to have to have to have a key. You also have your phone as a key, digital key too is what Genesis calls it. Uh, and then overall, in terms of the comfort of uh, these seats, you can see quilted leather with the beautiful uh, copper accents in here, the contrasting stitching. Uh, these are heated and ventilated seats, uh, and they also are just copper covered in supple leather. I love the way the center console looks where you have a wireless phone charging pad here. You have two cup holders, and you can control the Genesis con uh, the head unit here from a controller, or you can also use the touchscreen, which the touchscreen is a little bit on the far end for me. Uh, so kind of keep that in mind um, for those of you who don't have quite as long of arms. But let me go ahead and hop into the back seat. I wanna show you guys what the space is like back there. Now getting back here, it's all interesting to me how Genesis was able to package the battery because the battery pack, I believe, lives underneath the floor. It kind of uh, takes the backbone of the vehicle, the structure, um, which is why the space back here is pretty much unaffected. Once I get in and shut the door, you can see the GV70 is a little bit on the tighter side. You can you know, move this seat forward a little bit. Uh, and you can see here, I believe the gas model has about 36 inches of legroom. It looks pretty similar here. You can see not a flat floor. You have your own set of climate controls, heated rear seats along with rear seat air vents. Uh, and then the seats themselves, they do offer a recline function. So you kind of get a little bit more comfortable. You have an armrest that folds down. And then above me, you can see here, big panoramic sunroof, uh, which the vehicle is not on right now, so I can't open the shade, but there's this beautiful kind of um, Alcantara uh, soft material on the roof, along the pillars and whatnot. So uh, you also get these manual retractable sunshades. So if you're looking for luxury and technology, the GV70 electrified still is very much uh, at the top of its game. So you see that thing right behind me? That is actually the Genesis X convertible. That is a concept car for now, but it's completely electric. It's probably one of the sexiest cars you're gonna find here at the 2022 LA Auto Show. And you, buy, you guys basically need to go in the comments and you need to tell Genesis to build that because it is a sweet looking vehicle that will compete with cars from Rolls Royce, from Bentley, from Mercedes, et cetera. But we're here to talk about the GV70 electrified because this right here is going to become the company's top selling model. Well, the gas version is already. The electrified model here, uh, for me, I think Genesis has done it right here. They've essentially taken everything that we love about the gas version and just made the car electric. You can't even tell that it's an electric model. And I think that's kind of the point. Genesis wants electric vehicles to become the norm. And to do that, you need to make them look beautiful. You need to make them not feel like a strange car, which is what a lot of consumers are looking for when they make the switch to electric. And the interesting thing about the GV70 Electrified is this model here will um, be priced around $65,000. It'll come as a basically a fully loaded model. And Genesis also says that this will be the first electric vehicle that will be built in, the North, in North America. It'll be built in the United States, which means when it goes on sale early next year, it'll qualify for, it'll theoretically qualify for the $7,500 federal tax credit. So this is something that you may want to put on your at the very top of your list if you're looking for a compact luxury crossover. So I am looking forward to driving this vehicle. And remember, again, at a price of around $65,000 plus options, it should be a very top competitor when it comes out early next year. But for Redline Reviews here at the 2022 LA Auto Show, I'm Sophie on Bay.